Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. As a new pro, I can tell you guys that we always have those bad, really, really bad days where you only say, you know what? Like, wait. I don't want to handle the kids anymore. I just want to go back home. I want my family. I don't want to be here. This is insane. I don't know why I came here. You start questioning yourself why you're here why did you decide to come here and all these crazy things but it's normal i think i don't know it is for me because i've been already in that moment and i can just go through that and then i'm happy again and right now i'm having that moment again because it's been like a really hard week um my host kids are really insane, they are driving me crazy every single day and I don't know why I'm smiling right now but it's just like it's crazy because even though I feel like I want to go back home right now, um, I, I know that I'm gonna go through all this and at the end I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like okay it's gone, I don't feel like that anymore and right now I want to stay. So this week started really bad. The kids are just crazy, especially the twins because I take care of three kids. The oldest is four years old and the twins are going to turn two years old. So yes, yes, yes. They are in the terrible two years old. It's crazy. It's just they are driving me insane. I don't even know how can I handle them anymore because it's just crazy. Especially the guy because they're like girl and a and boy. The little boy is just... I count like... One, two, three. Breathe, Anna. Breathe. It's the only way that I can like calm down and breathe and keep doing what I was doing even so the guys are super crazy but it, it is all about the age so if you can feel me if you're an helper and you're in this moment or you have been in this moment already just comment down below and tell me how you handle it because i'm getting crazy <laughs> and if you're a future helper just i don't want to it's scary you guys but it's just like I want to be honest and you can have all these moments and not only with little guys like with little kids no I'm pretty sure that you can have those problems even if you take care of grown up kids like 12 or 13 years old because they are teenagers oh they are almost teenagers are they they can fight you more they can like I don't know it's just being a helper is not easy. But yes, I have to keep going. I have to move on and think that tomorrow the kids are gonna be better and they're gonna be better kids. I mean, today they were really good. So I'm, I'm happy. But like the three last days, they were crazy. Yes, like really crazy. Like yesterday was the worst day ever because they were so crazy and uh, I was just trying to get out of the house so I decided to go to a gym and when I got to the car I saw a ticket yes a ticket uh, it was a street cleaning day or something like that so I got a ticket so I have to pay $45 because of that double Anna so yes it hurts really bad because I'm a helper and I don't have all the money like to say okay I'm gonna pay it but it's also my fault because I park it there and okay yeah it's it's what it is ah and you know why it like really hurts it's because I already paid like how was I don't even know it was it was less than 350 yeah, three hundred and fifty dollars, and my in my first ticket, my traffic ticket, because I was 
texting or calling or talking by phone when I was driving, which is not true because I wasn't talking by phone. It was just such a bad luck, like really bad luck. I don't know, I feel like when I was born, God said, you, I'm gonna give you the gift of the worst luck ever. I really feel that because I always have bad luck. I don't know what's going on with me, but sometimes I'm okay. I don't even have like really good luck, but I'm like, okay. But then it's just like, I don't know, like something happens to me. Like I do something wrong and it starts everything going wrong. Everything, everything, everything. So I'm like, okay, please. Can I survive to this? But yes, I do survive. I'm here. I'm still alive, so I'm okay. How was telling you? Um, yes, I got a ticket, and I was so frustrated and so mad at me because I parked in there. But whatever. And I was still going to the gym. And on my way to the gym, when I was already at the gym, I realized that I forgot my phone. So. I'm the kind of person that if I go to a gym by myself, I like to just listen to music and that's it. I don't even know if it makes sense, like, you know, like when you go by yourself, you just are uh, like in your world and you want to just listen to music. Oh, I don't, it's just me or... Well, I don't know. Well, probably it's just me. When I was there, I was like in a really bad mood and I was just working out, working out and there were like two guys and they started to talk about me. I was just so mad. Because they were like talking about me, like they were trying to hit on me or something like that. I don't know. And when they tried to talk to me, it was so funny because I was like in a really, really bad mood. And I pretended that I didn't speak English. What did they ask me? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, they asked me like, oh, hi, how are you doing? And I was like, oh, sorry, um, uh, uh, me, no, English. I don't understand English and I don't have any intention to talk to you. So they were like, oh, I'm sorry. It was pretty funny. I mean, right now I think it is pretty funny and I think it was hilarious to do that. But I was like in such a bad mood. I didn't want to talk to anybody and I just wanted to work out. And right now I feel bad because I did that. Well, I just feel bad. I told my boyfriend and he was like, that's so funny, Anna. And I was like, oh, I was in a bad mood. I didn't want to talk to anybody, so... And yeah, that's it. I think that was my day. That's like a regular day for me. I hang out with the kids in the morning, at home, or we go to the park, or like we go to the gym. Because, yeah, I'm trying to get fit because I feel I can't handle this, this fat body anymore because no i can't i just can't <laughs> oh okay so today uh we went to the gym again and i took the kids and when i came back home my host mom texted me sorry to freak you out but there have been break-ins near our house this week please make sure all doors and windows are located at all times they have been crawling through open windows even when people are home along the paseo walkway that ends at the park with the rock climbing yeah it's like it's like a it's it's like a block down us it's like there like i read that text and i was absolutely freaking out so i decided to like to close every single window every single door everything was locked and i text my mom like yeah everything's locked right now blah 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 it's it's so crazy though because this is a really good neighborhood. I have never seen the cops in here or like something like that. Um, so I don't know. It's crazy. But yeah, we are safe. So it's okay. Well, guys, hopefully tomorrow it's gonna be a good day, a better day, and everything's gonna be okay. And I won't feel like I want to go back home and that I cannot handle this anymore because uh, as I already told you guys, um, I extended. I'm going to stay here for another year. 
and I realized that I can't go back home during this next year because like my the cat her okay so yeah I realized that I can't go back home because something about my passport or like I can't I can go out of the country but if I want to come back and they are not gonna allow me to come back so we don't want that so yeah guys if you want to follow me on our social media I will link it down below just go ahead and follow me there uh, I think that I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna um, share my snapchat so you can see everything that happened to me because I'm always posting every single hilarious moment that I do have and all my crazy moments all my sad moments all my happy moments all my super moments and all every single moment that I have I can post it in there if you have anything to comment just do it down below let me know in the comments what you think about this crazy life as an helper and yeah and you can contact me to just tell me about you, your upper life or if you have any question about it and because you are trying to begin this crazy life go ahead, ask me whatever you want I can tell you whatever you need to know and see you in my next video Bless us. And I can the mm 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 mm